Follow me on there. Cooking with BK. Cooking with BK. So you know, today I told you already, like I told you, I showed you my ingredients for the chicken and shrimp Alfredo. But we're gonna get into that. You know, first thing first, let me give a uh, let the camera person, the camera woman, my wife, get her a little taste of this wine. So she can relax a little bit. So she won't be so, you know, irritated with the. With the with the guy behind in front of the camera, so get her a little taste of the wine. Let her taste it. What we cook with, then what our ingredients, you know. So tastes pretty good. Man. Thank you. All right. So first thing first, let's get into what we like to do. What we all like to do: wash our food. All right. We're gonna wash. So yes, we're gonna uh, we're gonna pay, we're gonna dab these shrimp dry with a paper towel. Just to dab when you, when you dab them dry, you get a better seasoning coat on them. All right, so we're gonna so we're gonna go ahead and season our shrimp. We're gonna go ahead and season our chicken at the same time. Get that seasoning out the way. See me, being from Chicago, man, I'm heavy on my seasoning, though, you know, and I'm heavy on my Italian foods too. You know what I mean? I you know we grew up. Grew up loving food, loving pizzas, loving guys named Italian beef sandwiches and all that stuff, man. Everything Italy got to bring, we love it. You know what I'm saying? Because that's how we grew up. We grew up on the mafia, you know, on the mob. We feel me? But anyway, so, well, first thing first, we're going to start out with that good old paprika. You know what I mean? What everybody love. We're going to throw a little paprika on the shrimp and the chicken. Start out with it just a little bit. Dab it on there. Damping on them, damping on them. Go a little bit more heavy on the chicken, then the shrimp. Damp that on them. Hey, I don't know where you from, but any place in the hood, man, you gotta have that, Lord, man. You ain't even, you ain't from where I'm from, you ain't got that, but we just gonna put this on the chicken. So, you know, again, my Lord, I love him. I don't know, I think it's a her. It gotta be, gotta be a sister. But anyway, you gotta got garlic pepper. Okay, we're gonna go with the garlic pepper next with the chicken. So you're gonna do most of the garlic pepper on the chicken. I'm gonna hit that chicken with a lot of heavy garlic season. A lot of heavy garlic season. And next I'm gonna go with the garlic salt. And also for my chicken, I go ahead and, and dab a little coconut oil on that chicken. Okay, for that for that seasoning can can really settle into the chicken. Really settle into the chicken. Then we go with a little garlic salt as well. I did garlic pepper, garlic salt. I think, Lord, you're going to have to give me some kind of deal on this, man, because that's all the seasoning I'm using mostly. You know what I'm saying? Um, you always got to goddamn garnish your food with your regular salt and pepper, though, just in case. Because everything, yeah, so next, you know, we already got it. You got your salt and pepper. Shrimp. It, it, lo it loves salt and pepper. You know, anybody loves salt and pepper. Everything loves a good, good dash of regular good old salt, sea salt, because I like to be a little healthy. Sea salt and, and pepper. You know what I mean? That one side. And me personally, now a lot of folks going to go away from this. A lot of folks will say something about me for it. But hey, I got to have me some lemon pepper. I got to have me some lemon pepper, man. Got to have me some lemon pepper. Oh, even on my shrimp. I gotta have a little lemon pepper on my shrimp. I'm doing lightly, real lightly toasted on a real lightly dash on that shrimp. Because um I don't want that I don't want too much of that lemon pepper flavor to go into my pasta. Um, and you'll see what I mean by that in a minute. Okay, so we got the, I got the meat seasoned for you. We're gonna season both sides. I just seasoned one side for time purposes, but we're gonna do the flip it, season both sides exact same way. We're gonna get that meat seasoned, I'm gonna put it to the side, okay? Cause I, when I when we get ready to start cooking everything, I like to cook everything to it's to a science. It's gotta be to a science when you feed your family, okay? Cause you want the bread to be hot, you want the noodles to be hot, you want everything to be hot on the plate, get into the table. Alright, so I'm gonna take my chicken, I'm gonna put it over here and, and my shrimp, leave it to the side. I got everything getting hot, I got the water boiling, I got my skillet over here getting hot for my chicken. I'm gonna do my shrimp on the own pan because I'm gonna have to take that same pan. I might take that same pan and use to um, get with my noodles, I mean with my cream and everything for the flavor. So the same thing that you do the shrimp in, you don't 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 
take that pan and clean it or nothing. Use that for the flavor. So we're gonna take that, put it on to the side, and I'm gonna get my onions chopped, and I'm gonna get my um my garlic, my garlic clove chopped right quick. Once I chop that up, then we're gonna come back over here and get started. Get started with this whole good recipe, okay? So we chop this all goddamn. I'm gonna be honest with you. This is my first time ever dicing up a, a, a garlic clove, okay? Because I'm gonna be honest, I always use the, the minced garlic that I already came used for. Today I'm being a little more authentic, so I'm gonna try to dice this up myself. Uh, I probably should have looked at YouTube or something before I tried this, but I think from what I see, people, they grab a little, uh, got a little hole in there somewhere. There you go. I ain't crazy now. All right, I got, I got it. So we gonna get that. I guess I. I so we gonna get that. I guess I, I guess I unravel this stuff off of it, like an onion kind of. You can unravel it. I'm gonna take one layer off since it feels like some kind of skin. Okay, yeah, which it is. A little skin on it. Okay. Okay, I'm like, you know, it'll, it'll take the smallest, smallest guy. So I got it right there, boom. Now, I always see people take it and, take it and um, smush it. Uh-oh, boom. Uh-oh, now I need some flavor. I'm gonna chop it, 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 chop it. Chop it, chop it, chop it, chop it, chop it, chop it, chop it. I hope this is enough garlic flavor. If not, I smell it while I'm cooking it, you know. Let's see if I want to put a bit of my minced garlic in it, but the recipe told me one, one, one hive or one chive. Oh, one cold, so I believe that's one cold. Chop pretty good. I'm gonna take the onion, chop that in half. Take the skin off of that. I'm gonna use half onion. Half of a small onion, okay? Okay, half of a small onion. Alright, so now we're gonna go ahead and cook the shrimp. And we're gonna go ahead and make the water. We're gonna go ahead and start boiling the pasta. Pasta needs to boil about 10 minutes. I add a little coconut oil away from my water. Just keep my pasta from sticking. And look, 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 So now I'm checking me, like, my family, we like our shrimp a little done, a little well done, to be honest with you. So, I like to check the bottom of it to see if it's crispy like that. Almost there. Almost there. 
Um, what I don't want to do, I don't want to have my eye up too high to burn the bottom of the skillet because like I said, you use the bottom of the skillet for all the flavor that comes from the shrimp to get into the pasta sauce, okay? So boom, we're gonna do that. I'm gonna go ahead and flip the shrimp over. Like I said, I don't want to burn the bottom of the shrimp too much. Um, I think the flavor there, if you see my big tongue, this, this is my barbecue tongue, but hey, gotta make it work. I don't want to take none of that flavor off my shrimp, so I don't want to be flipping and stirring them around. I just want to flip them straight over. Keep that flavor in. Keep that flavor inside the shrimp. Make sure every one of them turned over. Take me a little pot and cover it up. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I'm not the professional cook. I don't have all the professional ingredients and professional cookware. But I got what I have. And I'm going to take it and I'm going to use it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to throw just a tad bit of water in here, okay? In my pot. Just a tad bit. I want it to cause just a little bit of steam on the chicken. Okay. Put that up over there for a second. Check on my shrimp. Now it's time to remove my shrimp. They just about done. So I remove my shrimp. Grab a plate for them. Throw them over to the side. Take, take, it, take it out the heat. Keep the, keep the pot from getting burning all that flavor that you want to remain over there. Okay. Get ready to rock and roll. Have a cup of butter. Have a cup of butter on there. And my onions. Tell them how you have to add a little more onion. Yeah, oh yeah, I had to add a little more onion. Thank you, camera woman, my wife, the love of my life. Reminded me that I had to add a few more onions, so, you know, because, um, three don't hold up, but put my knife, okay, got my knife over here. Add a few more onions. That's on that pattern. And I had to add a few more garlic, a little bit more garlic too. chicken and it's real time cooking y'all real time cooking okay i'm barely stopping I ain't, ain't, ain't no time. all right time we went off on the noodles so take the noodles put them to the side you can drain the noodles but do not rinse them okay we're gonna drain these noodles we're not gonna rinse them we're just gonna drain them sit them over to the side put them back on top of the pot <clears throat> Sit it to the side. We're not gonna use all right. Go ahead and put that in the oven. Ten minutes on that. Chicken just about done. Put it over there, let that flavor up. What I'm gonna do with this chicken, I'm gonna go ahead and cut it up as well. Thank you for the most flavor round. I'll eat. Want me to put a stick right here? Cut it up real good. I get up the a box, uh, a box, a box. Be my own. Cut that stick up real good. Got flavor coming up. So I got my chicken cut up. And you see how juicy it is. Like I said, I like to cut the chicken up, 
circle it back around, get all the juices and everything all over your chicken, you know what I'm saying? Other than cut it up while you eat it. So my onions and sauteed, garlic. I didn't I, I took a few of the onions out the pot. I didn't I don't, I don't feel it quite comfortable using too many onions in Alfredo. But I do want them onions to get soft and I do like that flavor. Alright, so what's coming next is the ultimate flavor guy right here, guys. This is what um gonna bring that rich flavor out. Yeah, I didn't get that little saute just a tad bit more. Ain't quite as soft as I want. Maybe five to six minutes. The white wine. Like I said, I'm gonna try the bell food. We're gonna go with one third cup of wine. Um I'm not a professional wine pourer. So I'm gonna go with the ingredient and how I say it go cook. So I'm gonna go with one third cup of wine. Put it in the mama's. A professional would just throw it on in there, you know what I mean? Alright, boom, get that down. Woo! Get that sizzle. I smell it. I smell why they put the wine in there. Turn it up a little bit more. Ooh. Smell it. I smell all that good wine flavor. It's gonna be something quite different for me and the family. They cook on in there, and we're gonna take one third cup of a pint of cream, two cups of cream, which is a pint, equals a pint. We're gonna take two cups of cream, a pint of cream, pretty much. We're gonna let that boil up. We're gonna let it simmer, not boil. Let it simmer, not boil. Get those greens all into that, cook it all in there. Once they get heated up a little bit, we're gonna add about a third cup of cheese. Little salt, little pepper for taste. When they heat up a little bit, I turn my little skillet on warm over here, put my shrimp back over here, keep those warm. And like I said, we're doing it as a topping, so I'm not going to put it back into the um, ingredient, and I'm not going to add it to the pasta at the end. I'm going to put it over here and keep everything nice and warm for the food. You want the food to be nice and hot. Okay, like I said, once it starts, you don't want the boil, you want the simmer. So once you see a few of the bubbles in there, get around the whole pot. You want to add your one, your third cup of cheese. Once that cheese melt, then but we all we all like popcorn now. I'm telling you, once the cheese melt, I got three minutes on my timer for my bread. You see why you put it all together, everything warm, everything golden, crispy. I add a little bit more salt to my chicken, and then I taste it a little bit more salt. Shrimp gonna stay exactly how they is. Cut that down, cause it's boiling now. If you don't want it boil, so I'm gonna lift it up from the heat a little bit. I don't want my sauce to boil. I just want it to simmer a little bit. I want it right there. You see that? I want it right there. Cut that heat down a little bit, lift it up from that heat. Now it's time to add my cheese. Third cup of cheese. Get that real cheesy flavor. I'm gonna put a little bit more because I'm from the hood. We like cheese. Ooh, so we're gonna do that. Get that cheese melted. Once I see that cheese done melted, soft and thickened up just a tad bit. Gonna add this pasta. Well, we finna eat good, people. We finna eat real good. That's nothing. Hmm. You can see right here, right there, that cheese is starting to thicken up. Okay, right when it get thick up, you want to go ahead and add your pasta because you want to wrap that pasta and that and that sauce all up together. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and add my pasta. You gotta judge how much pasta you really want in here. I really think you want it. Okay. I'm gonna stop it. I'm gonna cut it all about right there. I'm gonna pop it. Go ahead and get that pasta. Ooh! Look at that real thick. I mean real creamy. creamy. You know, we want it creamy. We want it creamy. And I'm gonna go ahead and add my chicken in here now. 
Cause it's so creamy. I'm gonna go ahead and add that chicken. I like that chicken flavor. No, I'm gonna leave it as it. I'm gonna huh? leave it on top. Go ahead and add it. I'm gonna go ahead and add that chicken flavor, chicken in here. No, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna top it. I'm gonna top it with the chicken. I ain't gonna spoil. I ain't gonna spoil each flavor. I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna let everybody have their own flavor today. I'm gonna let everybody have their own flavor today. I'm gonna top it with the chicken. I'm gonna take half of it, top it with the shrimp. Mm, shrimp Samson. Hmm. Right, top right now. Take my divider, divide it off. Shrimp, non shrimp eaters. Take my shrimp. Like I said, we top it. I, I like to top it. I don't wrap. I don't wrap the pop the two sauce too much into the food because I feel like, hey, once you eat that food, everybody got his own flavor. We want to keep they keep their flavor unique. Mm -hmm. Even the pasta got his own flavor. We'll bring it out later on once they dig into it. Shrimp, boom, boom, boom. I ain't take the tail off because, like I said, I'm not putting the shrimp all the way into the pasta. So we'll take that. All right, cutting that fresh parsley. Add a little greenery to it, but you want it fresh. Just because you add a green on me, you go get it out of the can, out of that powder before you get fresh parsley. Add a little green to it, baby. Fresh parsley, man. Add a little greenery to it. Ugh. I gotta really work on my chop, on my parsley. I like. I want to be a little bit more finer than this. Hey, we got it. We'll deal with that. We'll deal with that. All right, that's the finished product right here, man. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and chop this food up, eating good in the neighborhood. Let's see what we got. Look good, I'm guaranteed about it might taste good. It smell good. Smell good, everything. So let's chop it up, man. Till next time, thank you for tuning in. Oh. All right, till then, thank you for tuning in. Like I said, everything good. I think everything gonna turn out good. We're gonna taste it, we're gonna eat it with the family. We're gonna enjoy it. Thanks for tuning out. I want you to subscribe to my channel. Like, share, hit that button. You know what I'm saying? Hood cooking. We taking it to another level. You know what I'm saying? Coming straight out of Chi Town, Inglewood, Southside, all the way to Georgia, Barnville, Georgia, where we learned that old soul food cooking. And I've been in the shop, we learned that old everything cooking. Shot, we got everything in the shop. You know what I'm saying? Jamaican jerk. We got yeah, the Italian beef. We got pasta, pizza, everything. So we're gonna put all that together and Pretty soon we're gonna infuse that with a little bit of that, you know, Mary Jane on my next couple episodes. And I'm gonna show you how we do this thing. Alright? Till next time, like, share, subscribe.